Well, when, when doctors are successful, which if they really would embrace this technology, they would be, um, what really are the rewards for you uh, in, in doing this well? I mean, is it increased referrals? Is it increased prestige? Is it increased ego? Is it financial? Or is it some other not so obvious type of reward? Okay. I would say, you know, financially, of course, you've got the fitting fee, you've got the annual supply, you've got the improved compliance with your yearly exams, but where the real benefit comes in is when they go back into the community and they're wowed by their experience. They're, they're excited by what you've done for them and they go and they tell all their friends and, and all their family and they become that customer evangelist and it's easy to acquire in a multifocal contact lens patient. Yeah, I mean, refer referrals and loyalty are really the two most, I mean, referrals and loyalty are the two most important parts of this particular modality, but it, it, it works towards all the other benefits of your practice. You have to communicate better with your patients with this lens. Well, guess what? You're going to communicate better with your patients on all other issues that they have if you start on this road. Mm -hmm. You know, your staff is going to be more empowered because you're using a different modality, something that's cool and interesting for them to, to play around with and hear the patients talk about how great it is. So that gives your staff more responsibility and empowers them to be better at every aspect of what they do. And at the end of the day, if the best for your patient ends up being the best for your practice, which 99 times out of 100 it is, then you end up with a much more successful practice. When you take on challenges like this that aren't really that challenging, they just require effort. Once you get good at it, it, it's a, you know, high tide floats all boats. Every part of your practice starts to feel better. Every part of what you're doing for your patients becomes better. And that's really, to me, the most important part of this. It's not the particular modality at the moment that we're having this conversation about. It is, do you want to be that doctor who does everything you can for your patient? And if the answer is yes, you have to be taking everything that comes out and using it and making it yours and owning it. Because if you don't, someone else is. John, I think from a practice building perspective, and I heard this from an optometrist years ago, it's a really um, easy equation um, to try and optimize a patient's experience in your practice. And I think we'd all agree that if we can optimize the patient experience, we will have practice growth, we will see profitable practice growth. And the equation is, is if you take the patient's perception of their visit to your practice and the products they actually acquire from your practice, and you subtract the expectations that they came in with, and if the perceptions are better than what they expected or higher than what they expected, they'll just literally have a positive patient experience. So we have an opportunity here with this technology to offer them a perception of their visit and the materials that they acquire from your office to be better than what they expected. And if that's the case, they'll have a better experience. And if that's the case, you just ultimately end up with positive practice growth. I think that is, with this modality, one of the kind of hidden gems and benefits that's associated with it. If I can give you one or two little vignettes that you take away from this is number one, be patient as you start with this because it, it, there is a learning curve, but it's a quick learning curve. And number two, speak to your patients, give them information. You'll be amazed at how much just that little bit of extra time and information for the patient makes a huge difference in the success of these contact lenses and of all types of modalities of treatment that you use on your patient. Um, by doing those two simple things, a year from now your practice will be a lot more fun, a lot more successful than it is today. Um. I really want to take the time to thank our distinguished panel for their insight and for their practical advice on how to build or to have a successful multifocal contact lens practice. One of the things we find is it's often difficult to differentiate yourself in this fast-paced eye care environment, but following our panel's practical advice appears to be a good way to start to build toward this goal.